it's Mary Kay and welcome to day 13 of the Effa Challenge and today it's Sunday so of course we're doing um, like range and recovery moves. Today I'm going to do a lot that works on your hip flexors and sort of opening them up because sometimes when your hip flexors are really tight that leads to lower back pain and problems so I'm going to show you how to do some hip opener moves today. So let's get started. The first move what you're going to want to do is bring one knee out in front 90 degree angle and all we're gonna do is we're gonna push forward and you're gonna try to get a hip flexor stretch on the leg that's on the bottom. And so just push forward so you feel, you know, the resistance and the stretch. And I hold it for about five or 10 seconds. And then what we're gonna do is push back, raise the front leg, straighten it, get into a flex foot position and try to bring your chest towards your knee to do a hamstring stretch. And again, I'd hold this for about five or 10 seconds and then go back to that hip flexor stretch and then push back again into the hamstring. So what I would do is do, so that's one side and then I'd switch and do the other. And I would do a minute on each side. Again, you wanna get a nice stretch on that hip flexor on the bottom and then push back. And again, keep this leg straight and as go, depending on your range of motion, try to bring your chest down to your knee. So again, alternating for a minute. The next move, what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to get both legs in a 90 degree angle and you're going to again want to take your chest and try to move forward and try to bring your chest down towards your knee and hold the stretch depending again on your flexibility and your mobility it will depend how far down you can go. If this isn't, um, if you don't think this is stretching you enough, you could try moving towards the ankle. Um, and again, that'll give you more of a burn. What I would say is try to do one side for a minute. And again, if you have to come up for a couple seconds just to release the tension a little bit and then go back down, you can. And then I would switch sides. And again, you want that both legs in a 90 degree and sort of lean forward, try to bring the chest towards the knee. Or if you're a little more advanced, try coming towards your ankle. The next move is another hip opener, hip flexor move. You're gonna stay in the same position. You're just gonna bring your arms back behind you. And what you're gonna do is rotate the hips. So you wanna get this top hip is the one you're sort of leaning forward and digging into. And you're just gonna keep rotating like this for about a minute. And this helps with the hip openers and getting some mobility, especially if you were tight. It's a good move. You'd be surprised. You feel like you're doing nothing, but it actually is helping with the mobility and range of motion in your hip. So my next move is one of my favorites as a runner, and it's a good IT band stretch. So what I like to do is you take one leg and you're gonna bring your ankle behind your knee. You can kind of see it's behind my knee. And you're gonna wanna bring the leg on the floor as close to your butt as possible. Again, it's gonna depend on how flexible and your range is. And you have your arms behind you like this, and what you wanna do is try to push your chest into your shin. And this really stretches the IT band. Depending what kind of weightlifting you're doing or cardio or for me running, my IT band tightens up all the time and this is a really good move to help get the stretch. And again, I try to hold each side for a minute, but like you could release as you're doing it and then go back into it. It really helps. And sometimes when that like, it gets really tight, this is a good way to relieve it. And then again, I'd switch legs and do the other side. On your stomach, come down to the ground and I wanna show you a cobra. So what you do is you take your arms a little bit lower, your hands a little bit lower than your chest, and all you're gonna do is press straight up. Your, your toes are tucked under in the back and you're just gonna lift up. This helps stretch your core in the front and it also helps with your posterior chain. And again, you're still getting a little bit of stretch on the hip flexors. And you can hold this probably for about 30 seconds come down and then reset again. Again, you want your head in a neutral spine and your chest up as you do this move. So those are my moves for today. Give them a try. Let me know how you feel after you do them. See you tomorrow.